So we're in Piazza Navona or Navona Square, named because it's generally speaking a square. This was the site of Rome's first stadium. And by stadium, I'm not talking like an amphitheater or a coliseum, I'm talking stadium as in a, a horse or chariot track. Um, it was built by Emperor Domitian, who was Titus's brother, um, between 81 and 96 AD. Obviously, it's not anymore. If you go up to the end, you can see the curve, which is where the, the banking and the turning would have taken place. Um, there's three fountains here. There's the seashell fountain, the fountain of Neptune, and then we've got this one, Fontana dei Quattro Fiumi. How was my Italian there? Fountain of the Four Rivers. Okay, thank you. Um, built in 1651, okay, so well into, well past the sort of the Christian era and all the rest of it, designed by a guy called Bernini. The four statues represent the most important rivers of the continent where Christianity had spread, okay? So these four Greek gods at the bottom represent the spread of Christianity. So the Nile, the Danube, the Ganges, and the Rio de la Plata, which is in South America, in case you didn't know. But I, hopefully the, this speaks for itself, but what I'm, what I'm looking at here is a blend of Greco-Roman mythology with Egyptian mythology, theology, however you want to understand it. And then we've got the dove with the olive branch stamped on the top. Now, what many in the, not just the Catholic world, but the Christian world would want us to understand from this is, is Christianity conquers all. What actually we're looking at is Christianity or a blended religion, a syncretized religion founded on the beliefs and understanding of the Greco-Roman and Egyptian belief system. And in a lot of places we see this exact same thing, a foundation, the column, and then some type of Christian emblem stuck on the top. And interestingly, it's the smallest emblem of, of the lot as well.